What's up ladies and gentlemen, Wolfcryer here and welcome to another ARPG update where we talk about what's going on in the world of action role-playing games. And we've got a lot to talk about today. We're going to be talking about Diablo 1, Diablo 4, and an update to Warhammer Chaos Bane. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First up, we have the Diablo 1 expansion, Hellfire, is being released on GOG.com. With the recent release of Diablo 1 over on GOG.com, the only expansion to the first game in the Diablo series, Hellfire, is also now available for purchase, and you can currently buy both for $8.99. While Hellfire does bring a different iteration of the Monk class, it is considered to not actually be part of Diablo lore, and wasn't even actually created by Blizzard, but rather by Sierra Games. But if you are interested in a trip down memory lane, I highly suggest checking it out, especially with this low price point. Now, on to some possible Diablo 4 news. According to several reports that have surfaced today, it seems that Blizzard has canceled not one but two projects that were under development recently. One of which, according to Kotaku, was an FPS set in the StarCraft universe, which seems oddly familiar to those of us who remember the canceled StarCraft Ghost game that was said to be in the work a few years ago. This new game, as reported by Kotaku, was said to be codenamed Ares and was to be, and I quote, Battlefield in the StarCraft universe. It has been reported that this game was under development over the last two years. And the other game that was canceled was one of Blizzard's upcoming mobile projects. And according to Kotaku's sources, no jobs have been lost as a result of these cancellations, which is pretty good. And what may be a blow to those yearning for more games set in the StarCraft universe seems to be a boon to those desiring Diablo 4 and the second Overwatch game. It is rumored that the two teams that were working on these two projects have been transferred to assist in the development of both that next Overwatch game as well as Diablo 4, both of which are being speculated as possible announcements at this year's BlizzCon. And while I am currently pretty much unwilling to travel down this rabbit hole of hype for Diablo 4, at least for the time being, it is my personal opinion that a Diablo 4 announcement is probably the best way for this company, known for creating great PC games, to save face after last year's poorly thought through Diablo Immortal announcement. Now I will personally be attending this year's BlizzCon and I will definitely be reporting on any and all announcements that may be made, and will always be hopeful for that big Diablo 4 announcement. Right now, I think I'm going to hold off on getting my ticket punched for that hype train. Now let's move on to some Warhammer Chaos Bane. As some of you already know, especially if you've watched my review of Chaos Bane, I am particularly unimpressed with the game. Primarily because I believe if you charge a certain price for something, let's say $50, those who have purchased that item should receive something worth about $50. Warhammer Chaos Bane was not marketed, nor was it released as an early access game. It was marketed and released as a fully complete action role-playing game with a AAA price tag. In its current state, that is not what consumers are paying for. With all of that being said, I am not against allowing this company to fix this game and see where it progresses because the game is not without its bright spots. And if they are willing to put in the work on this game without incurring even more expenses to their consumers, I would be willing to revisit the game and possibly even re-review the game in the future. And today, the development team for the game released pre-patch notes for next week's upcoming patch, which will introduce the Invasion Endgame system, as well as some bug fixes, new difficulty levels, and some more technical options. Now, the Invasion system seems to be designed as a tree with various nodes that need to be completed in order to complete the whole invasion, and the maps within, and this is where 
I once again start to worry a little bit are played out on randomly generated levels from specific acts, boss fights, or arena battles. And as I've said in my review video, the acts are, for the most part, self-contained and very limited in terms of tile sets. So adding yet another endgame system that feels almost identical to those systems that are already in the game strictly due to the very small pool of tile sets available, doesn't seem like it's going to actually fix the game. I personally would love to see this team develop more tile sets and change up the mapping system, not only in this new endgame system, but also start incorporating these into the core campaign as well. It would definitely go a long way towards changing my mind on the current state of Warhammer Chaos Bane. I'm okay with giving them some time to fix the game, but when you charge $50 for a game, you shouldn't need that time. There are other game companies out there that are charging way less for what they're working on and actually progressing in a stronger fashion, at least in my opinion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I always greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know down in the comment section down below what you're thinking about this news, especially the Diablo 4 news, because if that's true, I would definitely love to hear some Diablo 4 news at BlizzCon this year. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so very much, and you all have a fantastic day. Peace.